The Etiquette of Social Media by Leonard Kim is a thought-provoking essay that delves into the evolving realm of online interaction. Kim explores the complex dynamics of social media, emphasizing the need for etiquette in this digital age. Through his analysis, Kim highlights the importance of fostering genuine connections and maintaining a sense of authenticity in an environment often fraught with superficiality and self-promotion. One of the central arguments Kim presents is the idea that social media platforms have become a double-edged sword, offering both opportunities for connection and alienation. He acknowledges the undeniable advantages of these platforms, such as the ability to reconnect with old friends, share personal milestones, and even build professional networks. However, Kim also underscores the darker side of social media, where individuals often curate a carefully crafted persona to present to the world, leading to a sense of isolation and disconnection from their true selves. Kim's essay draws attention to the performative nature of social media, where people tend to showcase only the most glamorous aspects of their lives. He asserts that this curated self-presentation can be misleading, as it often masks the struggles and vulnerabilities that make us inherently human. In doing so, Kim argues that social media etiquette should include a call for greater transparency and authenticity in online interactions. Furthermore, Kim explores the impact of the like and follower culture on our self-esteem and self-worth. He contends that the pursuit of validation through likes and followers can lead to an unhealthy obsession with external validation, causing individuals to prioritize popularity over genuine relationships. Kim suggests that a healthier approach to social media would involve focusing on building meaningful connections rather than obsessing over metrics. The essay also delves into the pitfalls of online disagreements and debates. Kim acknowledges the ease with which social media users can engage in heated arguments, often resorting to ad hominem attacks and hostility. He argues for the importance of civility and empathy in online discussions, emphasizing the need to listen and understand differing perspectives. In doing so, Kim encourages readers to approach online disagreements with an open mind and a willingness to engage in constructive dialogue. One of the most compelling aspects of Kim's essay is his call for digital detox and self-reflection. He suggests that individuals should periodically disconnect from social media to reevaluate their relationship with these platforms and their impact on mental health. Kim's emphasis on self-awareness is particularly poignant, as it underscores the need for individuals to take responsibility for their own behavior online. Kim's writing is both engaging and relatable, making it easy for readers to connect with his arguments. His use of personal anecdotes and examples adds a human dimension to the essay, allowing readers to see themselves in the scenarios he describes. This relatability is a powerful tool in persuading readers to consider their own behavior and its implications for their online interactions. In conclusion, Leonard Kim's essay, The Etiquette of Social Media, provides a compelling analysis of the complexities of online interaction. He highlights the need for greater authenticity, transparency, and empathy in the digital realm. Kim's call for a more mindful approach to social media is both timely and necessary in an age where these platforms play an increasingly prominent role in our lives. Ultimately, Kim's essay serves as a valuable reminder that the etiquette of social media should be grounded in the principles of genuine connection and human understanding.